I, I can't believe this. YouTube actually cares about me. They care about small creators, small channels, little guys like me. They care so much they're going to disable the dislike button because it's very hurtful. It's mean. And maybe perhaps I could find sleep at night. Wow. Well, thanks, YouTube. <laughs> but YouTube, you didn't really care about giving me a heads up about that strike you were going to give me on my channel because Warner Brothers didn't want the, the, the video up on my channel. You didn't come and say, hey, uh, Sega Saturn SNK, we want you to take down that video. No, because you, you, in reality, you didn't give a fuck, so you still gave me the strike. So you're not really protecting small channels. And like I said in the past, YouTube doesn't give a fuck about small channels. They just care about the bigger channels because they generate money. Small channels don't generate money for them. This is all about control and protecting the narratives and agendas. Like, perfect example. This person is not very well liked. Uh, he's like a hobbit. He's like a little bioterrorist. Uh, he has rat face features. And he talks like this. Well, if you get the fourth one, maybe you'll finally drop dead. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, you know. Uh, but uh, I, I'm sure I'm not lying. Well, what about this other person who's very well disliked? He's a puppet and he runs the United States of America and he likes to shit his pants. Yeah, that, nobody likes that guy. But in reality, it's the people behind closed doors that's actually pulling the strings, okay? And I'm sure Google, some of the Google guys are pulling the strings as well. Same goes with uh, the other big tech friends, right? Your big tech buddies. Mm. So... That's what YouTube is trying to do. They're trying to protect their own people, their own agendas and narratives. They don't give a fuck about me. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about small channels. When Orange Man was around, he got a lot of dislikes on his videos. YouTube didn't say nothing. But now all of a sudden, because it's their group of people... Oh, we got to step in and do something about this. This is not good. And it's already too late because people are waking up. They're waking the fuck up. And, and a lot more people are going to start waking up. And that's great. Good. Good. Because it shows the true identity of these fucking cocksuckers. Because that's what they are. A bunch of frauds. A bunch of phonies. A bunch of people who are just fucking up. Your lives. Well, they're fucking up the future. And that freedom's gonna go away very, very soon. So hopefully, you'll start waking up. And then there's some other people, like these creators, they're like, oh, well, I'm not gonna know my audience because of what they're disliking, what they don't want on my channel. Dude, just continue what you're doing. Whatever has the most views, whatever whatever video is most most healthy for you that's your audience keep creating that content because it keeps bringing people in you know who's your real real audience the people that actually take their time to watch your shitty fucking videos and actually comment they come by and they comment and they support whether they donate or not it doesn't even matter they come by and they spend their time to watch your shit and drop a comment that's your audience those are the people that I do appreciate. Thank you. You know who you are. So there you go. At the end of the day, it's all about protecting their narratives and their agendas. Because they have to listen to their globalists, elitists, and Chinese masters and daddies. Because YouTube is nothing but a bunch of pieces of shits.